Please like, comment and subscribe. Thank you for watching. China and Russia will keep Iran from building a bomb. The US pursuit of a return to the Iran deal has received new strength after recent talks in Vienna appeared to indicate that working groups might bring Tehran and Washington closer to a series of agreements. The original 2015 Joint Comprehensive Plan of Action, JCPOA, was signed by China, France, Germany, Iran, Russia, the United States, United Kingdom, and European Union. The complex deal was supposed to block Iranian pathways to a nuclear weapon in exchange for sanctions relief. It also was supposed to prevent a war with Iran. Largely absent in discussions about claims that Iran will develop a nuclear weapon if the US doesn't enter into a new Iran deal are questions about whether China, Russia, and even Turkey might restrain Iran from its progress toward making a bomb. Because much of the discussion focuses on the US and Iran, Tehran's ties with Beijing and Moscow largely are ignored. Iran recently entered into a 25-year cooperation agreement with China. Both China and Russia don't want a nuclear-armed Iran, and Iran's neighbor Turkey likely would not want Iran to be armed with nuclear weapons in the region. Therefore, the real restraint on Iran's nuclear ambitions may not be a US strategy or a new Iran nuclear deal, but rather, Iran's need to please other authoritarian regimes. The US should consider this in its discussions with Iran. Recently, Iran met signatories of the JCPOA in Vienna, while the US was sidelined because Washington withdrew from the deal under the Trump administration. There is a lot of pressure on the Biden administration to cave to Iranian demands. At the heart of the problem is a misunderstanding of the current restraints on Iran's nuclear program. Iran uses nuclear enrichment as leverage to goad the West into giving Tehran sanctions relief, essentially demanding cash in exchange for not building a nuclear bomb. Iran does this skillfully. It periodically releases information about its enrichment activities to put pressure on the US. For example, recent reports said Iran had 55 kilograms of 20% enriched uranium, a stockpile that violates the 2015 deal. Tehran's message is that the US must return to the deal, and then Iran will reduce its stockpile. Why does Iran openly telegraph its nuclear material stockpile? Prior to the 2015 accord, Iran never built a bomb. Instead it used claims that it was moving toward a nuclear weapon to wring concessions from other nations. It also used talking points about political hardliners and fear of another war in the Middle East to get the US to the bargaining table. Now Iran once again has trotted out the hardliners equation, claiming that if the US doesn't agree to a new deal, the hardliners might win an upcoming election. This is a talking point that Iran uses only in its discussions with the West, it doesn't appear to ever mention hardliners in its own media or in talks with Russia, China and Turkey. If you like this video, hit the notification button for more news. Thank you for watching.